Good morning, Calvary, and happy Monday. As we're uh, kicking off another week of the coronavirus shutdown, we're also wrapping up our uh, kind of walk through the book of Philippians during this time of offering you a, a word of encouragement on a daily basis. So I'm glad you're joining us today, and I just wanted to, to close out the book looking at these this last few verses in chapter 4 of Philippians. And... Uh, and I hope this has been an encouragement for you as we've kind of walked this time together over this past month. Uh, and in fact, Paul uh, concludes his letter offering encouragement and gratitude for the Philippian church. Uh, and he does it because of this. Listen to verse 14. He says, it was kind of you to share my trouble. And you Philippians yourselves know that in the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia... No church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving except you only. Paul commends the Philippian church because they were the ones who took care of him. They were the ones who met his needs financially. Uh, he wasn't in Philippi very long. He was persecuted there. They chased him out of town. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's the place where he was in jail and uh, locked up in the middle of the night after being beaten. And he was singing and praising God. And God miraculously sent an earthquake that set him free. And uh, the jailer was going to kill himself. And... And uh, everybody was, uh, uh, you know, about to get free. And Paul said, hey, don't kill yourself. We're all here. And, and the jailer brought Paul out and he said, what must I do to be saved? And Paul said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. And that man committed, his whole household committed, they were baptized. It was just a miraculous place, but the, the people persecuted Paul. They chased him out of town. And the Philippian church continued to support Paul everywhere he went. They just invested in him and in his ministry. And he says, look, when nobody else did, you were generous to me and you were kind to me and you shared in the work that I was doing in a partnership level that nobody else touched. And because of that, he offers this promise that uh, is often repeated. Uh, and, he, and he says this in verse 19, he says, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. My God will supply all of your needs according to the glorious riches of Jesus Christ. That, that is an amazing promise and a wonderful promise that we hear and we often repeat. And I just got to tell you, uh, Calvary, I am thankful to God for you and your generosity. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I've been stunned by the encouragement we receive both verbally, but also the faithful giving of Calvary members and the people who are part of Calvary. Uh, just in supporting the ministry. And because of your generosity, we have been able to bless families. Uh, our benevolence team has been working uh, more than, than in the past. And so we have helped families with rent. We've helped with utilities. We've helped with food. We've helped with uh, car repairs and gas. Uh, we've been able to bless families because you bless us. And not only that, but because you've been generous in, in your giving towards Calvary, we've been able to continue uh, supporting our staff. Uh, we haven't had to do any layoffs. We haven't had to cut pay or cut hours. And we've been able to bless families uh, that are part of those that are serving you. And because of your generosity, we continue to give to missions. Uh, not just here locally, but around the world, we're able to bless people in Jesus' name through this time of a pandemic. So I just got to praise God for you. And thank you for how you have been faithful during a diff difficult time. And, and because of that, I know that my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Now, notice that I said God shall supply all your needs because needs and wants are really different. And all of us want a lot of things. We, some of us want to be rich. Some of us want more money. Uh, some of us want uh, this, you know, lockdown to end. Some of us want uh, a lot more freedom. Some, you know, some of us want health and more time with our loved ones. There's a lot of things we want, but understand that God has supplied all of our needs and he will continue to supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. And, and by the way, our greatest need is for salvation for the grace and mercy of God, and he provided that need by sending Jesus into this world to suffer and die for our sins so that everyone who confesses Jesus as Lord has eternal life, gets a new body, is going to live forever as sons and daughters of God. What an amazing promise. What an amazing grace that God has poured out on us. There is nothing in this world, no amount of pain or suffering or sorrow or death that we can go through that is going to nullify that eternal reality. 
So I pray that encourages you today because uh, God never runs out of resources, but God never runs out of grace or mercy either. And he has enough for you, whatever your needs are. So keep trusting in him, keep leaning on him, and let's keep serving him together. And again, thank you for your faithfulness and your generosity toward the kingdom of God. God bless you.